Hello, this is Daniel and welcome to part 2 of the character modeling tutorial series and we're going to continue right away without talking too much about things. Um, while you can watch me just continue this work a little bit, I want to talk a bit again about just the tutorial in general and to give you infos about that. So, um, I am really sorry if, if you know, these tutorials are really long and, and maybe a bit boring from time to time to watch and follow because I can understand that it is quite a... Um, <laughs> I think you know what I mean. Uh, watching these videos um, always 10 hours to... Uh, sorry, not 10 hours. 10 minutes to 20 minutes is quite some time and following step by step. I hope you like the content though. Um, I hope this, uh, this helps you to um yeah get better at character modeling and yeah i think simply because there is not such a tutorial on youtube yet that's a good enough reason to continue doing it like that and the reason why i will only publish videos around the length of um 10 to 20 minutes is because i want those of you who um follow along these videos while i'm publishing them to be able to have just a little bit of, of um, you know, progress to follow each day or, or whenever, I don't know, I'm not sure yet how often, how regularly I'll publish them, but, you know, I want you to be able to follow along without um, having, you know, having to spend your entire time on it. Yeah, so to get back to what I'm doing here, I'm just rip open this this topology um, you can do so with we just to split this uh, off and then I'm going to connect those parts again um, try always to stick uh, with quads while modeling it to be honest I actually um, when there are some situations where I really like to add a triangle I actually ignore that rule and just go ahead and, and add some triangles in the middle of big mesh but you know you should avoid it that's how how professionals would call it a clean object <laughs> I guess but it's it's not such a big problem I would say but you know just keep it in mind we'll also try to stick with quads in this video so that this video teaches properly and doesn't tell you anything uh, wrong or you know something you shouldn't do but just so you know so, um, while I'm continuing again to work here, uh, I want to tell you a bit about topology now. The reason why we have this specific structure in a face that almost always looks pretty much the same is because once you animate it, uh, mainly because there are other reasons as well, but one of those reasons is that once you animate the face, you will uh, be able to see those spots with bad topology. Um, because they won't deform so well compared to those uh, which have this kind of system. Now, what's so important about this system is mainly that you try to make these lines here follow along the features of a face. So you have the eyes, you have the nose, you have this area from uh, nose to chin and you have this oral face um, surrounding line here and, and stuff like that if you have those in there a deformation wouldn't be a big problem <clears throat> and yeah you can always look up in the internet uh, how uh, um, some some references for topology uh, for characters or faces in general and yeah if you stick with one of those it will be fine I guess just try to um, you know, find one that is actually good, not a bad example. Um, and you can judge that yourself, I guess. Just see the result and see if it looks good or bad. And mostly the good faces have a good topology as well. So here I'm going to add a little bit of realistic detail. Um, even though it's a stylist character, you always have to decide on how much you uh, go for realistic or stylized with these kind of um, 
works and I'm actually going for a rather realistic nose but not quite as well so um, let me think we have the choice here too let's, let's do it like that you know, this is the point about um, having the loops follow um, the shape of, of things. I wasn't just sure if we should make it stop here or if it should go uh, along here, this piece of nose. And you see, uh, if you make it like that, you can really see how this one turns here. And that's as well how the nose looks. So that's kind of how I decide where to put my next vertices. Over here let's just finish this off like that and <clears throat> let's see how we can finish this hole. Um, we can always go back and change things so I'm going to start with just extruding all this in, smoothing it a bit and extruding it that in here. So we have already a nose done but now we can go back and, and improve it bit by bit until it looks, until we're satisfied with the result. Let's see. Okay, well that looks a bit weird now. Uh, you have also the possibility to enable proportional editing and then transform a big part at the same time. Well, that looks really weird right now. <laughs> We yeah, definitely have to change a few things here. Let's check it with the reference. So the size is about good, I think. It's not too bad, but there are a few big problems with the nose. Um, now, how should we fix it? <clears throat> I think that's the thing that takes up most of the time when doing modeling. But you know what, I'll just undo a few things. I think I just really messed it up. It looked actually not so bad at the very beginning. <laughs> All right, let's let's start from here again. Maybe I shouldn't change so much. Um, let's go ahead and close this up, of course, again with quads. And now you see we have a little problem here. Uh, we have um, this. We need one more loop going in here somewhere. Let's see where we can do that without getting troubles. Let's move this one down and make space for a new one up here and adjust this one very quick from the side. And now it should be just fine. Yeah. So I'm still not really happy with the nose. <laughs> but I think I'm going to continue even though I'm not very satisfied yet. And later on I'll get back and fix it. It will definitely turn out okay, or at least that's how it's how it always is. You just work on it and work on it, and s sometime you'll find out how it should look, and and the next time you model it, you'll know it right away how it's supposed to look. So that's how you learn, I guess. Um, yeah, let's continue. So that's kind of a mix of realistic and still stylized version. I'm not going to make those um, very, go in very deep, but that should be all right. Just enough so we have the shading work uh, on the nose. Let's continue with, um, or should we continue? Let's, let's try to create another line just like we did the contour, but starting from the kin going up the face here. Um, in these situations, just deactivate clipping very quick and activate it again, just so you can extrude it from here. Now you see we have again a little bit of offset between the reference and from the side and the front. And this time I'm actually going to still trust the front view more than the side view and do it like this, even though this will be a bit off. That's not a big problem, we just have to <coughs> be able to live with that. Now do a few extrusions here to there. Also here the same thing, you have two sides and you don't know which one uh, is correct now. Um, again you just have to pick one that is in your opinion more reliable or go for something in between. You see here I'm going a bit more to the right while it's here a bit more to the left. That 
that way we'll get uh, something like the average of, <clears throat> of where it should be and that should give us a good position over here we don't really have uh, a line that we can move this to we just have to guess it and especially here it's very good to go to a free view and adjust it by hand because if you do it for the first time it's very probable that you get a shape like that that's at least what happened to me very often um, yeah just look around and try to make it look like a chin and that should work let's move it a little bit more back and go then up here this should um, pass the ear and on the front side and then go to the top of the head and connect there now I did only a very low resolution here or a very low density of polygons that's just so I can adjust those easily and then once I have those put in place I'll go back and subdivide those and add some more smoothness to all this all right let's see make this a little bit smaller I think the rest will be added with the hair yeah looks good to me I think and at this point again I'd like to stop this video for today I hope you enjoyed this one as well and I'll see you again tomorrow thanks for watching